So for today, we're really excited to be introducing Leslie Marie Martin. And she is a peak performance athlete and also the ultimate competitor. And she's going to be talking about some really cool things. A new term that I just recently discovered, which is the biotic community. So welcome, Leslie. Thank you for joining me tonight. Hello. Thank you for having me. It's quite an honor. So, yeah, we always like to record all of our, our meetings or interviews so that you can actually use this as well afterwards. But tell us a little bit about this peak performance athlete. I mean, what is that? And you've been doing this for quite some time. Yes, um, I've been an athlete for as long as I can remember. I've always been running around, jumping around. Um, mostly uh, my family will tell you and those who know me from my childhood, um, I used to run around like a horse. So I have nicknamed, been nicknamed uh, Pony um, now into my adult life. Um, but I've always been a competitor um, and an athlete. Just doesn't matter what it is. Is it a push-up contest with my brother and we're 10 and he's 13 on Christmas? Um, is it something where it's, you know. And, and you, you beat him every time, right? <laughs> and I beat him. Well, until he started to figure out and actually start to uh, work out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, from anything, just a pick up nice, friendly game of um, ultimate frisbee. I'm always in a competitor mode, and I'm always and where does that always come trying from? to go. Where does that come from? Where is that I really, drive? I I really don't know. Um, I have a very uh, I've been very gifted. Uh, my family um, has always been involved with athletics and sports. So I have an older brother. Dave used to kind of tag around with some of his things. Um, but I guess my family soon found out that I was actually a lot better athlete than he was. I was a little bit quicker. And we've already talked about the push-ups that, you know, once I started beating him. But um, I think if when he sees this now, he's going to want a push-up remake. Um, so I guess we'll right? stay tuned for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. he, he's okay to lose then, right? Is that it? Um. If it's if it's good, if I do well, yeah, I guess to his sister. If he was gonna lose to anybody, I guess it would be his sister. He'd be okay with that, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> so, have you ever thought of going to professional athletics, or you know, what's been your journey? Obviously, you you respect your body, you res, you know, respect it in in its finest form, I think, because in a way, you're a super athlete. I'd like to call it, and you know, what a gift you've given yourself. Yes, thank you very much. Um, I, I'm not really sure. Um, I, I love to be, I guess I, at one point, I, I didn't realize um, I was inducted into the Hall of Fame not too long ago from um, the junior college I went to, SUNY Colbuskill. And the field coach there had said that back when I had, um, when I was in my prime competing in college, that I was about 50 points away from qualifying for the Olympics for the heptathlon. Oh, so, wow. so that was quite um, humbling to hear that, um, him say that. But also now that I've gotten back into being in the best shape of my life, I've been able to simplify my nutrition, uh, my supplementation, and my workouts um, have just shot through the roof that I – I am looking into possible areas um, to where I could be deemed a professional athlete. Um, I love to just compete anything that's short sprinting and running, um, things that can really show my athleticism. So, so when, would, when you, what, what does it feel like when you win? I mean, what's what's that excitement? How Describe that for those people who might be interested in, in, in beginning to <clears throat> become a better athlete so they can experience what you experience. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing when you take a look at all your, all the time, all the hard work, all the sacrifices, that's really what it comes down to. And that's what comes down. That's what separates, you know, first place from second to third. Um, sometimes it's just sure roll of the dice, but a lot of times it's a lot of sacrifice and you, you say no to a lot of things and it's nothing better that when you're able to shut out all that noise and you have mentors in your life that are saying you can do it, you keep going and they're there for you that when you do put in that time and, you, and that effort and you get the result that you want it and you, you win or you beat your time that you did before it's, it just makes everything all worth it. Um, 
it's it's a really it's a really great feeling of sense of accomplishment that um i i do try to help everybody else achieve that as well i love to help people um feel that feel that sensation of overcoming um a goal or a challenge that they once never seemed possible it's sort of like your natural high when you when you get there and also probably when you're training there because you know what you're doing when you start to get good at something yeah it's it's absolutely i mean for one like i don't like swimming so i mean i could practice it probably a lot but swimming is just really not my thing um i truly it, it just my body likes to run it likes to jump um and do explosive things so it, it, it's when you're in that zone um it's it's some call and you're getting that autopilot zone or whatever it is and where all your training has just come come to life go and to have everything just happen so perfectly after all your training it's 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 really an awesome accomplishment to be like that's why you made those sacrifices yeah. is that so you we, could have that that at the end and you could go back in time and right. say that you did it <laughs> you know that that's great you know insight because you know i there's a good friend of yours anna anna dutko and she said something pretty much what you're saying too is that you know you want to get results it, it's a lot of hard work and no one ever said it was easy and but that's with anything and clearly you've committed to working hard sacrificing stuff but also realizing the importance of what you get to achieve with the kind of dedication commitment and the work that you put out and for anybody listening you know and i've heard this over and over again from so many people it's just don't give up if you believe in something and you don't know it's out there and what's interesting is that there's so many models out there that we can emulate there's so many success stories that we can emulate that it's really not that hard to find to find that success you know, we don't have to find it alone the only thing is that you do have to do the work <laughs> to get there and i think that's amazing and it's always a great inspiration for me and especially when i watch things like like the olympics and then you see these people, these super athletes, do these incredible feats, these incredible accomplishments against so many great odds. Most of the time, I you know burst out in tears, only because I realize the amazing part of what human potential is. You know, I get excited just like you get excited, and that's why I know that you're also a head trainer at um, what's the studio called again? Sweat Revolution. A Sweat Revolution. So you're a head trainer there. And it has to be really exciting for you to, you know, let people know what's possible and then, you know, helping them get there. Absolutely. It is. It's, and it's a very emotional roller coaster because if you know the, 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 the route, the route to success, it's, it's not a straight line. You know, you're going to have some setbacks, you know, there might be injuries, there might be, you know, a bad day here and there. Um, but at the end of the day, if you have people around you um, that are supporting you and if you have all the right tools and resources, the only thing left is, is, is you. And that is putting in that work. You know, I, I can be your cheerleader. I can, I can tell you exactly what to do. I can tell you, come, come be here at this time, but you, you have to find what's inside you and you have to want it yourself. And if you, you know, everybody's got tons of excuses. I've got a lot of excuses why I can't get to the gym or why I shouldn't do this or do that. But if it matters to you enough, if it's important to you, you're going to find a way. And for those people who do take that leap and say, you know what, enough is enough. I, I want to do this. Um, I want to cross something off my bucket list. Or you know what, maybe it's just an, an athlete that's been mediocre and time is enough. There, it's been enough. I, I want to see where my genetic potential could take me. And and those are the people who I like working with. I like people who are motivated and they have a set goal. Of course, my passion is with athletes, but I can relate with them much more easily. I, I know what it's like to be either that freshman and sophomore who doesn't know what's going on and going to go hang with the seniors and all oh, the seniors are going to go get ice cream. Okay, you're going to get ice cream with them too on that run to where that you when you're that junior when you're down and you're like, no, we're not going to go get that. You know, we have bigger goals in mind. It's not going to be worth it, you know, putting in all this effort just to throw it away and have ice cream cones once a week instead of doing that workout. So I hope those girls from high schools remember. 
I sure as hell remembered <laughs> all but those ice cream runs. <laughs> so does that mean I can't have my ice cream tonight? No, you can absolutely, in moderation. I mean, everything's in moderation. You got to have a balance. All right, because I just bought these two oh. amazing chocolate tubs. So I'm definitely going to have a little bite, but I'll make sure it's a small bite. You know, but what's what's interesting too, and as a performance strategist myself, um, and I'm sure you work with your clients in the same in a similar fashion, is that oftentimes I find that people are lacking two things. Number one, you know, and both of which will help with motivation. Number one is you know knowing what that compelling future looks like, knowing what what the end game is, you know, what or the end result is not the end game, but the end result, knowing what that is. And getting excited about that because of what what it can do for you, but then also is having a a, um, a strategy for success. And I found in myself oftentimes that you would try something on, it just wouldn't work out. And and unfortunately, when you don't have the right strategy or the right team, because there's an, an incredible you know competition. Maybe you should work out for this one. It's called the Kokoro, and that's are you familiar with that? It's, no, a, it's, a, it's a Navy SEAL um, uh, boot camp, so to speak. It's about 50 hours. <clears throat> and this is for the, the non-military personnel who want to do something like this. And I got very excited uh, about participating in this. And because I realized that it's that 20 – they talk about the 20X factor. There's 20 times more inside of you that can simply come out if you do the things like what you're doing right now. Obviously, you're experiencing that because you're that super kind of athlete. And when you get that mindset, when you get that place, then you can also do so much more in your life as well. And so I got really excited about, you know, being a badass on this, you know, 50 hour, you know, no sleep boot camp, you know, <clears throat> you know, waiting in the ocean and all these things. And unfortunately, I didn't have the right trainer. And he wasn't helping me in the right way, and then I sustained an injury, and, and I'm a little older, of course, and then one thing led to another, and I got very disillusioned. And um, you know, part of my story, if you was, I had a lot of other things that I had to focus on. And so in my case, I didn't have great strategies for success. And so I'm going to turn that around, and that's partly why I'm doing what I'm doing is finding people that can also help others and myself in that success. And that's what I appreciate about you is that you're training every day people to be the best that they can be. And that's awesome. Well, thank you. I mean, yeah, it, the first step is, is that, you know, with people um, and what really can set them up for success right from the beginning is it depends on the individual and you know like you're saying for you you had this desire to to want to cross this off your bucket list or to achieve that you know a lot of times what we have here is sometimes for you to get at your lowest low you have to be so uncomfortable so dissatisfied with your current situation to for you to finally pick up the phone call me to return that my text message to finally walk through my doors um i'm not people who or is that sweat revolution? You know, I help tons of people from across the country and it just starts with them. You know, I can see a bigger future for them. I can see a bigger vision for them. I can see them joining me on the podium at Tri Fitness. I can see them being happy when they go to the roller coaster rides with their children, you know, or being able to have the energy to play with their children. You know, there's so many different areas of life that people just sometimes just don't know what they don't know. And it's kind of my job to try to help bring that out in them, that nice. I have, I know them and I see the potential of where they could be. And it's just more or less bringing out what, what matters to them, you know, because what matters to me is, is not what matters to you. I mean, I don't think, Bart, you wanted to do Tri Fitness next year, right? You, you weren't, you're not excited about <laughs> getting on the podium with me <laughs> this next year oh, at Tri Fitness, right? I, so. I'm, I'm there for sure. You know, I started off uh, 15 years ago, right? <laughs> Did you know that? You actually competed in the one? Oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. Uh, No, I competed, <laughs> and uh, I came in third place. There you know, you with the guys. We had, we had a, it used to be Women's Tri Fitness then when uh, Al Rosen. And for people who are listening, mm -hmm. the Tri Fitness Worldwide or Tri Fitness World Championships is an absolutely wonderful event, and um, we should put a link uh, to that after 
you know, on this, on this um, interview because Absolutely. it is so much fun. I think it's a lot more fun than even the Savage race or the Spartan races or the, you know, the uh, mother race and those things. They're very different. They're big scale. Um, this competition is incredibly unique. And so tell me what your experience was. How'd you do this year? Um, I guess you could say I did all right. I brought home a lot of hardware. Um, I, knowing my background and who I am, I knew I was going to do well um, at the, the athletic competitions. I knew the Grayson Physique round was going to be my biggest challenge, and that's why I, I signed up for that one. Um, walking in a teeny tiny bikini with heels on, that's really not my cup of tea. Um, I have running spikes on and sports bra tank top and I'm running. <laughs> so, um, but that experience was just incredible. Um, friends of mine, uh, Liz Court um, and other friends, they, they had done that competition in years before. They'd always brought a team and I've kind of always just, I sat in the back and just watched them. Um, finally this year I decided to join because I saw how much fun they were having. And as soon as I signed up, I mean, it's just, it's just, it is, it's totally not like any of those over franchise um, events that you see across the country. This is something that's a truly a unique experience that from the second I, I signed up, Al was sending me a message, you know, welcoming me to the team fit uh, for the, to the tri fitness. Um, clearly he could see that my name was new and I, and this was going to be my first year, but up until that, from that first time registering to my first event to the last event, I mean, so many people, the volunteers, just cheering you on. I mean, and I have such awesome photographs from you and everybody else and videos to kind of illustrate that experience and how amazing it was. Uh, I just never experienced anything like that. It just, these, these volunteers just, they wanted so much to see you succeed. And they didn't know who I was, you know, and that's just a little bit of the environment that I love so much and that I gravitated to with Liz Court and her organization. You know, we, we help women um, across the globe now and we don't even know each other, but we get together and it just, it just doesn't matter. We, we can be completely two different people, but we have the same goal. And that is, is that we want to do our best. We want to train hard. We, we came for a result um, to do well and we just cheer each other on. And I, I'm, I'm stoked for this year. I, I can't wait. Now I know, I've seen the events. I can't wait to go down and beat all my times. I've challenged a lot of other people uh, to come join me, um, and I, I am. I'm bringing a team down this year. I can't wait. You know, it's it's in this particular case different than say like uh, the Olympic Games, but that's a whole different thing. You know, the, this competition is about finding out that you can achieve your personal best, and every single year do even better. And what I find absolutely wonderful. And, and Al Rosen has done such a great job with this, is that he's created an instant family for everyone. And everybody is supporting each other. I've never seen so many people scream and yell and clap and, and support people that are complete strangers. And, you know, all ages. I mean, we're talking from little kids. In fact, my little kids used to compete as well. No, they didn't actually compete. They trained. And um, to, you know, older men and women, more, more so women than men, you know, in the 60s and 70s and doing these things that, you know, even 30-year-olds don't do anymore. And so it's such a wonderful right, thing right. to see that there's none of this nasty competitiveness out there. It's actually an honest, genuine, authentic, and what I call generative competition. Yeah, we're going to challenge each other to be the best and we challenge ourselves to be the best. And that's what that event's all about. Quite remarkable. And so I'm, I'm so glad you're bringing more people because it is truly a great event. So tell oh, yeah, me what, absolutely. If I'm going down, they're coming with me. <laughs> so so tell me a little bit about what I'm actually totally fascinated about, something new, and this whole biotic, you know, experience, you know, tapping into that, you know, living biosystems and and you know, what is all that about? And what can people learn from you? The biotic community is it's it's just living, it's living in um you know, all living organisms, you know, it's, it's, it's fungus, it's a tree, it's, you know, it's me, it's you, it's a squirrel. And special about that is, is something that you have to find within. It's, it's nothing that I can tell you, like winning, uh, you know, a tri-fitness event, setting a record. I can't 
I, I can tell you how it makes me feel, but it, you don't know until you experience a little bit of, about what I'm extremely passionate about aside from the fitness realm is, is our biotic community. It's our environment. It's so why, it's, so why it's are you passionate life. about it? So why are you passionate about it? I, I can't explain it. I've always been outside. I've always been playing with animals, playing in the dirt. Um, and it's, you know, we are just in one with nature as, you know, you know, foxes and bears are with the nature, with nature. We are, we are, you know, creatures as well. And it, that has pursued, you know, that, that, pers that persuaded me to, to start to get my education. I furthered my education um, in outdoor environmental education because I wanted to learn it. And I was completely blown away. Like, I know how I feel when I go out there and just to hear the different birds and, you know, to see the wind wind blowing and, and the different sceneries, it's just how truly sublime it can all be. But when you let it affect people and one of the most fascinating things was is that when people exercised outside compared to inside they felt so much better if you went for a walk in the mall compared to a walk outside they showed that your creativity your mood your proofreading skills I mean every little thing down the line shot up and then you put yourself put humans by a water source a river a lake and you do the same exact that thing that you were doing inside that mall or outside now you're by water that again increases every little aspect of life and that was that just made sense to me because I know a lot of times that when we get frustrated and stuff go for a walk you feel better you get a breath of fresh air and what a big passion of mine has been is is trying to find a way to bridge that gap for people in, in the outdoor world that we need to get off the computer a little bit and we need to get outside we need to turn off the tv we need to unplug some electronics because we are losing that connection with nature and we are seeing that across the board and it's not just what you know what you know poor monarch butterflies now are, are decreasing it's not that the amphibians are decreasing you know it's now it's happening to us humans and we're seeing the side effects we're we're sicker than we've ever been and i mean this I don't need to get into a big lecture about all the world, but when you start to see the correlations of how we've been disconnected from the environment and now what we are doing to the environment and now seeing how the, the roles play with us, it starts to make you think. And then when you spend that time in nature and you go for that hike and you really just sit there and just take a look at what you're in front of, I mean, it that that is that is a feeling that i can't i can't necessarily express i can't put into words but i hope people to ex try to out, go out there and experience that you know you're absolutely right and i actually wrote a book last year <clears throat> it was our number one bestseller and it's the 52 week uh, success plan and one of my chapters was back to nature, <clears throat> vitamin G, you know, green for green. And the beginning here, it says, you know, nature has a profound effect on all health and medical issues. Now, wouldn't you want to invest more in this vitamin G? And two or three days in nature enhances your immune system for a, a month. And so what, what this does, you're absolutely 100% right. I mean, we miss out so much by not being in nature. And unfortunately, you know, being in these urban communities, it's harder and harder, but you can actually bring nature inside your home, you know, with trees and waterfalls, just as you mentioned, or other things. Because, you know, that vitamin G, what it really does get to give you is more, like you say, more of a feeling connectedness, increased creativity, holistic living, as well as sustainable living. And so I'm excited that, that you're investing your time in that and hopefully get a lot of people to – you know, ascribe to to these things as well because there is so much nature out there. It is really easily accessible, and the benefits are are tremendous. And so, I'm glad you're at least doing something for that. Well, thank you. And now I guess I have to pick up your book. <laughs> you definitely do. In fact, I'll, I'll send I'll send you a book. I'll send uh, an ebook. Uh, no, actually, you know what? 
get the ebook and I'll give you a hard copy. Awesome. I'll Sounds like a good deal to me. You don't have to autograph it though. I'll, I'll autograph it for you. Well, I'm really excited to have been talking to you today. I'm really excited about the, the way that you're going to impact so many people's lives, but also in, in a new, unique way, you know, with your whole biotic, you know, existence, that biosystem, the living systems, you know, bring that impact to people as well. Because I know that too often we get too busy. Um, then, you know, our workout routines are just another blip in the day, but they're not really that focused on what needs to happen. And so I'm excited that you're bringing that to the table. So how do people Thank find you. you? How can people find you? Um, book of Leslie Marie Martin. Um, people can also find me at sweatrev.com. Um, that is the, that's our gym here in Hudson Falls, New York. Um, and I also have an email address, but I think the other, the other ones are fun. A okay. little bit more, more you get to see a little bit more about me and who I am. Well, let's make sure that you post those links on there as well. I'll make sure I get them on as well for you. And Leslie Marie Martin, I really want to thank you for today. I'm looking forward to see you competing. Um, and I, I do have to be careful about me actually competing. I would like to compete, but I'm also one of their uh, primary photographers. And so uh, that's one of my passions. I love photography. If I wasn't a plastic surgeon, I'd be a photographer. And, uh, I know so you have a lot on your plate. <laughs> yeah, I do have a lot on my plate. But uh, <clears throat> I have to make sure I'm not using them as an excuse not to compete. I'm sure I can find 10 or 15 minutes somewhere to do the obstacle course because I'm telling you, it is a lot of fun. So, Leslie Marie, thank you so much. Um, God bless. The Happy New Year. And I'm Dr. Bart Rademacher, prescription for your transformation, hashtag real people, hashtag real conversations. And just having fun with this process, just meeting people around the globe, you know, finding out new solutions, new voices, new solutions, your transformations. Find something new that can totally change your life. Because the best gift that we can give ourselves is finding some success in someone else and then pass that along and give it to someone else. So thank you so much. And I will be back tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much.